Hello and welcome back my fellow survivors to another episode of Project Zomboid with Chuck Miller. We are picking up here the day after our previous episode. In the last episode we finished our conquest of the zoo. We found an absolute crap ton of ammo of all types. So today we are bringing out the M14 rifle to see how we get on. We've got several magazines all ready to roll. We are going to be looking to well, have a bit of fun. It's only natural. I mean, we just had, we found so much ammo in the zoo in the last episode. But we just, we just had to do something with a gun. I went on the wiki for uh, the guns. To see what would be the quietest and uh, this one came out looking pretty good actually we've already had to abandon our car um, I've not used this type of weapon before I've used the shotgun quite a lot and I've used the shotgun quite a lot in just this series but I've never used an M14 rifle before so I'm not sure what the best range is. We are now at aiming level 5. So we should be pretty effective now with all sorts of guns. Oh, that was nice. So we'd need to get a slightly longer range by the look of it. Uh, let's unpack another magazine so I've got three more boxes of rounds I do need the range to be quite long by the look of it so still not one shotting them just get a new magazine so it's this is one of the quietest handguns but it's still not that effective actually let's so we are ready to roll though today we've got 100% and hand axe we are looking to make a serious dent in the zombie population of New Rosewood. See what sort of progress we can make. Not that impressed to begin with with the M14. It looks good when you hold it. Chuck looks like a badass. Already the run of awful weather is continuing. We are already soaking, slowing down our swing speed somewhat. Well, well I guess uh, March in Kentucky is not a holiday destination, huh? The weather is shot. Okay, there was a zombie up here with a welder's mask, so let's get that. Let's see if we can fight our way back to our car. We are already absolutely soaking. This weather is just absolutely bonkers. Did we use that bath towel? I guess we did. We're really going to have to be careful with the rain. We might have to duck indoors a few times to dry off. Actually, we're already hungry as well. You can see the swing speed for the truck is a little bit slower. So we'll be looking to really clear out large sections of New Rosewood today. I kind of feel like we're almost done with New Rosewood now and I want to move on to uh, other conquests shall we say. We've got a few road trips planned in the near future. Where's that welder's mask? Oh, there we are. 
Okay, <clears throat> absolutely tipping it down with rain. Jesus. We might have to just duck inside for a little while and dry off. It's absolutely sheeting it down at the moment. Nice uh, little glitch there on the zombie. Right, let's get inside. Not there. Man, crazy. I didn't actually bring that much food either. Again, we've got another absolutely crazy storm. What the hell is going on? Let's just reload the magazine while we're waiting to dry off. Another stormy day. Ah, it's really, really getting frustrating. We've had about a week in-game of this weather now. And it's really slowing us down. We are soaking. We're drenched. What the hell? We're inside, so how are we getting more and more wet? What's that about? Let's check to see if we've got any more food. At this rate, I'm going to have to fall back and restart everything tomorrow. Another storm. Just fill up our water. Not the greatest of starts. March in Kentucky's the stormy season, huh? Don't think there's any food in this building. Just wait for these towels to dry off. There's one. So let's just take a moment and have a look at the map. So we're down here. We parked just here, I think. Oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? Just here. That's where our car is. Uh, we were going to be looking to clear out this area and really get into this warehouse area, but it's absolutely chucking it down again. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight our way back to the car with the hand axe and then pick up again, just restart our conquest, shall we say, tomorrow. And it's because we're not going to be able to spend that much time. I'm not sure if you can even hear me over that thunder. We're not going to be able to spend that much time out in the rain like this. We're going to get cold again if we're not careful. So, I think it was up here. We left our car. There we are. So we had a helicopter just a couple of days ago. So we're not don't need to worry about that happening anytime soon I didn't check the broadcast for the weather today maybe with hindsight I should have done let's get the heater on that will help to dry us off because we do not want to get another cold right I'm going to get back to base and I'm going to get some food maybe make a hearty stew we will chill out at base for the rest of the day again Chuck's progress is slowed well in this case completely halted by another storm absolutely bonkers we've had more than a week of this now it is doing my head in All right I'm gonna get back to base make some food maybe Read, uh, read a skill book and then I'll cut back in the morning 
the next day when the weather hopefully anyway when the hope weather is hopefully much better and we can uh, carry on with uh, firing off some M14 rounds and taking out our frustrations with the weather on the zombies so I will cut back in the morning I'll see you guys very very shortly hello and welcome back my fellow survivors it is the next day we got back to base safe and sound but would you believe it we've got another cold another cold so we made ourselves a nice hearty vegetable I want to say soup but it, it may have been a stew but um, we got through the night pretty much unscathed no callers in the night the storm another storm has passed we are back in central new rosewood and we are looking to continue with some more rifle shenanigans we've got the m14 out not sure if i'd actually said and we're going to be looking to yeah really make some serious inroads to the zombie population here they come <clears throat> need to keep quite a long range on this uh, with to be fully effective wow that zombie is invisible apparently wow okay that didn't go well how many shots did I fire off then five or six absolutely bonkers fall back again as you can see M14 it's a rifle it needs to be quite a long range finally got that guy nice Let's just check our six we're good okay well this is this is quite nice well, most of the two shots absolutely blasting through the ammo so with the uh, M14 it takes 308 magazines there's 20 shots in each mag got four magazines with us I need to rack it I guess no it's jammed okay didn't do what I said I was going to do and learn the um, key binding shortcuts for jamming and reloading and stuff. Jammed again? Really? We are not having much luck with uh, the jamming. When we were at the zoo in the previous episode we had an M9 pistol with a silencer and it was jamming way too often for what was um, a very good condition pistol well when I'm holding the uh, M14 rifle I look the part bit better again it's kind of like just like before really I'm not exactly mowing them down as I'd envisage let's go to some melee again so hopefully we'll get some decent weather today And we can absolutely run amok. Really start clearing out the hordes. As we're getting pushed farther and farther back. I'm going to stick to... That doesn't have a magazine. I'll keep with the melee for a little while. We'll recover the lost territory as it were. really would have thought 
level 5 aiming we would be much more effective with the M14 and it is what it is it's still quite good fun we've got to do something with all that ammo we've got when we finished looting the zoo we must have got oh, I don't know we have sort of three full bags of loot mostly of ammo so it was probably 60 70 boxes certainly over 50 of just ammo there's a crazy amount so our car's at the end of this road here so let's switch back to the m14 this guy's a little bit close it really jammed again no. just run out of ammo just get a little bit of distance I do with finding a little bit of food here they come rather than just keep running back when they get too close I'll just switch to the melee Certainly coming out of the woodwork today, huh? I thought I heard one behind me, but I guess not. I was certainly stirring things up today, huh? Keep an eye out for any more melee weapons on these zombies, because I've only got the one hand axe. Okay. Nice, that was satisfying. For sure. Right, let's Okay, so we need to open another box. Almost got surprised there. But we need to reload really, so let's take out these guys with the hand axe. We mean business today. We've got another welder's mask. Uh, I've got three now, so I think I will leave it. Okay, let's take out this guy. <laughs> we need to reload our magazines. But, as I've often said, and is often the case, there is always another zombie. Right. It's a super windy day. Didn't get to open that. Can I just get a moment here? Apparently not. Okay. Okay. We've got 40 bullets per box. We've got three more boxes. That's 120 more rounds. More reloading XP. When it's the old fast shamblers, they do take their time, huh? I right, so need to open another box. Nope. Apparently can't do that and walk at the same time. Whatever. Bit too close for the M14. Take the gas can. 
Got to be wary of our weight so we can't pick up too many things. Okay, let's switch back to the rifle. Let's see if we can pick off this guy I've seen us. Never mind. Okay, so the warehouse district that I want to be working my way to is another block up. Do need to be looking for food joint really as well. Not bad. A bit close maybe. Yeah, a bit too close there. Yeah, I'm not finding the optimum range, I think. Let's just take these two out with the hand axe. What's he got there? Club hammer? Ball peen, okay. Alrighty. Let's continue pushing north. Here they come. How's our hand axe doing? Hmm, wow, okay. Already it's uh, half. I was going to have an M9 on my hip as well, but I didn't want to be that much overweight, so I decided to just stick with the one melee and the one gun. may cause us a few problems. Right, we are super hungry. This looks like a food place here. Let's see if we can find a few scraps of food. That's going to, that's reduced our carry capacity. Water. All you've got for me, water. Seriously? Just take a quick look at the magazines and the books because there's quite a few. Not read that one or that one. Okay, let's see. We need to find some food. Ooh. Let's see what that was. Right, we've got a house here. Let's dive into the kitchen. Hopefully we can find a few bits of food. Oh, another 308 magazine. That is very... Oh, that's for the rifle. I'll leave it. Right, let's get into this two-story house. See if we can find some food in the kitchen. This is, this is new territory. Oh, absolutely crawling with Zeds. Let's take this one out in the garage. Always do perimeter. Oh, quite a few here, of course. Some, that's a nice big house though. Hopefully we'll find some food in the kitchen and then we'll resume our push north to the warehouses. Being so hungry and a little bit overweight is also affecting our strength. Let's get in here. There's the kitchen. Oh, chips. Grab that. Beat those straight away and we'll see if we can grab a few of the bits to take with us. Interesting. 
I'm gonna leave all that stuff for now. Priority is food. No kitchen, as you do. Oh, well, we found a bit of food, but we need some extra food with us. So let's try the one next door. Get out of my way, zombies. Get out of my way. Chuck is now officially angry. Of course, there had to be an absolute ton of good loot here that I can't really pick up. Like food. Food, I'm famished. Tiny house. Right. Give me some food. There we go. Nice. Let's have something and take something with us. Get enough food to see us through the day. We can get back on to taking out these zombies. Won't take that, it's only two hunger. Let's just take the carrots as well. Okay. Let's continue with the objective. Some interesting looking houses here. Small, not much of a footprint, but two story. Right, have I got a moment to check the map? I think so. Right, so we need to go up right and then we should see what we want to see. So we'll go up here to the right. Do I want to? Continue with the M14. Ah, why not? Just too much fun, isn't it, really? You know, if I could actually use the thing. That was actually an empty magazine. It's too close, really. Yeah, too close. Not smart, but... I just got a, a thirst for the old guns today. Right, let's see how we get on. Can I kill them before they get too close? Three whole zombies. Hmm, maybe. And we do have so much ammo, it kind of almost doesn't matter if it takes three, zomb uh, three bullets per zombie. Should have checked the kill count before we got going today. Maybe I should just stick with the trusty old shotgun. Six is clear. Well, if anything, the rifle is doing a good job of bringing the zombies to me. I think that's a nightstick. We'll take that, get that on our belt. They're still coming. But we're still taking them down. Just check 
check behind. Mustn't forget the nightstick. I can't see it now. There it is. Is that it there? Yep. Okay. Right, let's see if we can grab that. Get that on our belt as a backup. Not sure if the hand axe is going to see out the day. Alrighty. A little bit overweight. What can we do about that? Not much. It's not too bad. I want to get eyes on this warehouse area. See if there's an obvious storage area. Because if there's a storage facility, I will find, hopefully, anyway, two or three generators. Let's just take a break, recover some energy. Alrighty, guys, we've had a little bit of a rest. The warehouse district. Or what I'm calling the warehouse district anyways, just up here. But let's see what we can find. We're looking for a building that looks like a proper storage facility. Might go easy on the rifle so that we can have a proper look around the area. Another windy day, huh? Right, let's see what we can find, huh? Got some sort of garage space just up here. And a few zombies come in to say hi. Okay, that's more than a few map, maybe, but I'm sure we'll make short work of them. Go to the hand, uh, the night stick. Because I know our condition is getting a little bit low on the hand axe. As you can see, we're nowhere near as efficient. Slower swing, more hits. So we're level three short blunt, but still really not that effective. I do vaguely remember when I was doing a little bit of sightseeing way back in episode 33, I think it was. I definitely saw something that looked like a storage area. Did not hear them come in. A little bit exerted again. There's a lot of zombies. I think I might need to just check out the map again. Let's go to the hand axe, or those will be here all day. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a minute. Ah, uh, here we are. This is what I was thinking of. This looks exactly what I was hoping to find. What I remembered seeing on our little drive-by. Wow, look at the state of him. Look at old Chuck. He's red from head to toe. Absolutely covered. Right, let's see what we can find here, huh?
That is a well barricaded building. You need to take a little bit of a rest again. There's always another zombie, huh? Let's see if we can... That's barricaded. Oh, but I guess we can't get in there. Wow, we've finally found a storage area and it looks quite a sizable one. Wow, that is yeah, not too bad. I was really hoping to find a generator. Got a lot of good loot. I uh, will take the nails. Gonna need, need a lot of nails if we're gonna be looking to build that wall. How low is our hand axe? Very low. Let's take this one as a backup. Okay. That's more sort of a warehouse rather than a dedicated uh, storage area. Just got drowsy, of course. And let's see what's on the other wing. There we are. That was good timing finding that other hand axe. Yeah, this is the, the side that I saw before with all these windows. Let's have a poke, poke our head through, see what we can see. Oh man, gets you every time, doesn't it? Every time. I thought that this might be these what might be separate storage areas. But it doesn't look like it. Not what I was hoping to find. Oh well, we can still explore a little bit, so let's see what we can find in here stay indoors will be fined good advice for a zombie apocalypse not seeing the generator we've got a couple of other areas to check out. It's office. Again, quite a few water dispensers. Break room here. Overexerted again. Won't bother with that, it's nearly broke. No snacks, unfortunately. Ah, coffee. Very welcome. Some good food there, actually. Cereal, peanut butter, really good for trapping.
Try not to get too close to that window. Uh, tomato paste. Where was that? Pickle. So eat that straight away. Well, not what I was hoping for. Another good location, another interesting location. Lots of good loot. Just check these lockers for bags. Oh, nice. Zombie must be just outside. Well, I won't knock this location off as search because there's quite a lot of gear here that we that was worth coming back for. Actually, we'll take the nails. All right, let's leave searching the rest of this location. Let's see what's next door and we we'll need to get back to our car as well getting late in the day and I'd say a zombie apocalypse is not the place to be out in after dark this looks like some sort of bank Not what we're interested in. Okay, we've got a little few more buildings up ahead. A little bit exerted, but let's crack on. Time is of the essence. Got a few garages here. Let's just see if we can poke our heads in and maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a generator. Well, it didn't quite have the impact I was hoping for, but I think we can definitely say that we uh, made a sizable dent in the zombie population. A little bit tired and exerted, so this is a bit dicey. I'm hoping that we'll get a key. There we go. Nice. just back off so we can just do one at a time nice let's open up these places maybe we'll get lucky Maybe not. Just back off. We don't want to take on too many zombies in our tired state. Alright, let's open up this one. No. Okay. Lots of interesting locations though. Lots to come back and search through. But I think the next episode we're going to go on a little bit of a road trip. I will not reveal any more for now. Let's make our way back to the car. So we've had a good look through the warehouse areas. There's Durkia. I think if we go back this way, a car will just be up the road. But I think that is going to have to be it for today. So I might spend a couple of days off camera in Zomboid time. 
just um, tidying up a bit of loot that we've found. We've got bags and bags of loot just lying around. And I never really feel have the motivation to uh, sort it all out properly because it would just would take forever. I'm now going to wander around in the dark. I've just realised the car's not at the end of this road. It's around the other side of the block. So, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to carry on wandering around. Now, where's my torch? I will find the car eventually. And I will get back to base, hopefully, safe and sound. Uh, but that is all for today. Do like, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you've got any ideas where you think I might be talking about going for the next episode. But for now, I'm going to have to say goodbye. See you soon for the next episode. Ah, oh, is that a car? It is. Well, not quite where I remembered it, but there we are. Right, I'm going to head back to base. Uh, peace out all guys. I'll see you very very soon. Cheers.